Potato farmers in Kenya could soon say goodbye to the costly battle against late blight disease. At the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization's biotechnology site in Mugoga, scientists are developing a genetically modified potato that promises to resist the devastating disease and lower farming cost plus increase in yields. Dennis Otieno tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. The potato is Kenya's second most important food crop after maize. But year after year, farmers lose billions of shillings to late blight, a devastating disease that can wipe out entire farms. But here in Muguga, scientists believe they have found a solution, a genetically modified or biotech potato that could withstand the disease and change the future of potato farming. For this reason, Caro and its partners, International Potato Center, it, it was able to come up and develop a, a potato product that is uh, the genetically modified potato, the biotech potato. And uh, the potato that uh, was transformed uh, was uh, the popularly known potato variety, that is the Shangi variety, which is susceptible to the late blight disease that is quite devastating into the farmer's field. The research journey has taken over a decade, moving from lab tests to confined field trials under strict regulation. To come up with this variety, we have taken about 12 years to come up with this, this variety. But we started testing these potato varieties into our lab around 2017. In 2021, we came and started testing the, these, uh, the Shangi events. We also have other events that we have transformed, the Tigoni and also the Asante. So what makes this biotech potato different from the traditional one? The difference between our the conventional bread potato variety and the transformed variety is that the the the, 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 con, the transgenic potato variety is able to withstand late blight, but in terms of other characteristics, the morphological, there are no differences because we the, the trait that we were targeting it is only one trait, the late blight resistance. For farmers, that means they will spend less on pesticides and labor and still harvest more. So what it means is that there will be cost reduction in terms of the fungicides, in terms of labor for the fungicide application, the cost will be reduced from 10 to 15 percent. And overall, probably gain against the non-controlled non conventional bread potato, the farmer will get about 34% yield gain, yes, in terms of the, gen, uh, the biotech potato. Experts say this technology could also make farming more attractive to young people. We expect that farmers, uh, once this technology reaches their hands, will um, benefit by reducing the amounts of spray from about 12 rounds of spray to, to maybe uh, less than three. And uh, this, of course, saves on their uh, input costs as well as, uh, you know, uh, assures the farmer well-being. You know, the knapsack carrying that is uh, usually done when spraying is back-breaking, sometimes even discouraging our young people from, from farming. And we want to, to have uh, young people also embracing agriculture. The final hurdle now is regulatory approval before the potato can be released to farmers. Like any genetically modified crop, approval starts with Calbro's Institutional Biosafety Committee, then moves to the National Biosafety Authority for trial and release approvals. NEMA clears environmental aspects, while KEFIS handles performance trials, seed certification and variety registration, with final policy oversight from the Ministry of Agriculture or Cabinet. Assuming that the national performance trials commence in October, for example, and it takes six months, we are looking at mid-next year for all the reports to support the recommendation for release coming in mid-next year. And uh, then after that, it will depend on uh, the 
uh, other authorities, including the cabinet secretary responsible for agriculture, to make a formal uh, public uh, declaration that the variety has been released for cultivation. If approved for commercial use, scientists are confident that this potato variety could be in Kenyan farms in just a few seasons, offering not just a better crop, but a smarter way to farm. Denis Otieno, 